Welcome to our workout. This is going to be a strength and conditioning, body weight and cardio workout. So we're starting with a dynamic warm up and I want you to follow with me as I take you through the movements. And you're going to do the first set on the right side. Coming into down dog, pedaling the heels, and then step on the right. And you have the option as you get a bit stronger, more flexible to keep your leg up during this one, or you can keep the knee down. So go with what feels right for you. Now you're gonna see me repeating the sequence. Keep following along with it. So arms up, flat back down, flat back up, and step out. Lower into the knees, and again, if you get stronger, you can come and stay in full plank and then come back to this cobra position. This is a yoga-inspired sequence. And now we're gonna go on the left side, so ignore me here and go on your left leg. Choose to stay low if the knee's still on the floor. Feel free to pause, go back, repeat it again if you like. So this is our round one. We're gonna do 30 seconds of work and 30 seconds of rest. Watch me for the lower impact and Holly for the higher impact. So we've got a deep squat. If you can raise your heels up, this will make the squat go a little bit deeper. And the second exercise is a tricep dip kick or a toe touch for the more challenge. The third exercise is a roll down to a plank or to challenge it at a press up. And go throughout the 30 seconds. Repeat that twice, then you're gonna go into your cardio. So we've got jump jacks or step touches and mountain climbers or mountain climber touches. We're gonna to do 30 seconds of each. Repeated twice. And we've got round two. So this is our lunge, our two stand rotations, and we're going to finish with a bum toner. So here's our lunge stance. Use some assistance, use a pole, and then you can progress it up to Polly's version. This is 30 seconds of work. T stand, you can add a dumbbell to make it a bit more challenging. Try and keep your legs nice and connected and tight, reaching away from your body as you do the rotations. Find a mat or a cushion to rest your knee and into the bum toner. So you're gonna circle the leg around, tap, towards the elbow, you don't have to touch it. Just try and do your best to circle around as you drop the opposite arm. This is it from the front, so you can see the height that I'm doing. So we want you to do the lunge, the T-stand rotation, and the bum toner, 30 seconds each, two times around. Into our cardio section. So you've got the belt kick, or you've got four kicks and four hops for a little bit more challenge. 30 seconds of each. Right into touch the floor. So you can either do my version or you can hop it out and do Holly's version, which is very challenging. Repeat that again. This is our round three. We go up and down planks into a side lunge, followed by a bridge kick. Same repeating 30 seconds of each, 30 seconds rest. So here's our up and down plank. So I'm going down on the right, coming back up on the right, and then going down on the left and coming back up on the left. Alternating. Into our side lunge. So you can just add a dumbbell or a kettlebell just to increase the challenge. Try and keep your feet facing forward and keep the one leg straight. 
So our bridge with kicks, if this is too much, just go up and down until you get more strong to be able to kick the leg. And Holly's doing a single leg version. So do the one leg for the first set, and then do the other leg for the second set. So finishing with our last cardio, we've got frog squats or frog hops. And then finishing with skaters. So skater hops or just skater big steps. So try and do it as big as you can to get as much cardio in the low impact way. Thank you for joining us. Have fun.